No mood. Hey, Mrs. Gabi. We are in Yonkalan Lodge. Where are we in Turkey? Fayette. 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 Turkey. And um, we're at the breakfast. And I told Kobe and the kids yesterday we had a, like a family meeting. We were talking about everyone mm -hmm. saying two things they appreciate. And wait, what was that? Can you tell us what that was when you said, mm? hold on, zoom into Kobe? What was that? It's like uh, tahini spread, kind of like peanut butter, but with the sesame spread. Mm. Tahini. So it's like healthy. It's like the pomegranate. Yesterday, okay. Kobe had a salad here for dinner, and we asked for a sauce, and they said, we don't have vinaigrette, we have pomegranate sauce. And it was delicious. And we asked them how they do it. They take the pomegranates, you boil it. They take pomegranate juice, you squeeze the pomegranate, you have the juice, you boil it, put a tiny bit of salt so it doesn't foam. And then after all the water goes out, what's left is the pomegranate sauce. It was the best balsamic vinegar, no yeah. chemicals, no nothing. Um, so we're, we're um, wait, I had a thought. Before you said, mm, Mm, so I was so we had our meeting last night and we were saying two things we appreciate everyone was saying around the table And I suddenly realized I always told Kobe and the kids and myself that I prefer mountains to ocean That I love walking in the mountains and I love the energy of the mountains and now we're at the beach and I and I realized this is the calmest I've been um, You know in a long time um, since India and I don't know if it's because the cosmic dust settled and we kind of figured out our routine on the on the road trip or if it's because the ocean, but I think there's something very calming about the ocean. And I'm really happy to be here on the ocean. This place is heaven. Until the next tsunami. Until the next tsunami. This place is heaven. We really, um, we're really enjoying it. And we decided we need to live on a farm. The kids have been chasing chickens all day and, and there's a story now. They, they keep taking bread from the buffet with permission and feeding it to the chickens and, and geese. And now there's a story they just came to tell me that there was a goose that laid eggs and one of the eggs, a chicken decided was hers. And now the chicken is sitting on the goose egg with her eggs. And when the goose comes out of the egg, um, the mom, the chicken is gonna treat the goose as her baby. So what's gonna happen is, the kids are so excited, there's gonna be this huge goose, you know, running after mommy, the small chicken. And it's gonna be one of those really beautiful relationships in nature that something messed, went wrong and it turns out gorgeous. So the kids sneak out of their window in the morning when Kobe and I do our morning exercise. And they're running all day. They're, you know, following geese, picking fruits off the trees. They have here lemon trees, peach trees, um, berry trees. Um, these, I forgot what they're called. Trees, um, oranges. What am I lemon. missing? I said lemon. Anyway, you, you just walk in the, in the garden and just pick fruit. Um, it's you even have amazing. a basket in your room. Yeah, there's a basket in your room so that you can just conveniently put the fruits you've picked in your basket. So we love it here. Like uh, the idea that we're leaving tomorrow is, is, is just going to be pushed aside. We're going to be here and now. Kobe today realized um, for the first time how beautiful the pink roses are outside of our, our, our building. And we decided that we're going to really connect to being here and now and to the things around us and appreciate how gorgeous all of this is, because it's amazing. So good morning, and uh, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Here's my breakfast. I know, and, doo -doo -doo.